Hope you've had a good day on this Tuesday. We are going to do two breaks tonight. A half case of autograph mini helmets. And following that, we're going to do an inner case of certified football. Before we start ripping, there is some information to go over. So let's go ahead and begin rolling through that. Feedback automated. That way you don't ever have to wait on me. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get the same in return. And of course, the other much more important thing is to say thank you. Always appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, and chatting with me. This is what's coming up in the days ahead. Tomorrow night is a, a new release day, of course, on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to open a case of Tribute Baseball and a half case of Donruss Football. With the Donruss, the base cards do not ship to the teams. They have their, uh, It has its own bidding spot for the base cards. You can see the listing description for full details on that. Also, we're going to start early tomorrow night, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. Thursday night finds us with a half case of gold standard football. Those are loose boxes from a shared case. We will do an inner case of contenders optic basketball and a five box case of immaculate collegiate football. On Friday, we're going to do a half case of Leaf Rookie Retro. That is a multi-sport product. Spots are sold by the first letter of the last name. They're all listed in the football category. And that again is loose boxes from a shared case. We'll do a second case of Tribute Baseball on Friday night and a full case of Encased Basketball. Saturday, we'll finish up that case of Don Russ that we start on Wednesday night. We will finish it up on Saturday night. And Sunday night will be an off night. Here's what you need to know about uh, what we're breaking this evening. So our mini helmets, those are a free shipping break. Whenever you do a break with me that has completely free shipping, uh, it is projected to go out no later than a week from the date of the break. So that means it'll be on the way to you no later than Tuesday the 13th, the week from today. Now, often it goes sooner, sometimes it goes a lot sooner, uh, but it shouldn't be any later than that. Here's the other thing about that break, the free shipping break with the mini helmets. If your team is not one of the teams pulled out tonight, your consolation card for that typically would be held until your next package ships just because it is a free shipping break. If you don't want to wait for that and you'd like uh, it sent right away and you get skunked in the mini helmet break, you only need to send me a message on eBay and let me know that and I will get it squared away for you. Now certified football, I am projecting that should be on the way to you no later than Saturday. It will hopefully be sooner than that, but it should not be any later than that. And everybody's going to pull cards and certified, so we don't need to worry about consolation cards there. Normally, at this point, we'd look at the spreadsheet and uh, get rolling. However, there were a ton of unpaid things the last time I looked. So let's see where we stand with that right now and uh, figure out what we need to do from here. So it looks like, guys, we have got four mini helmet spots unpaid. And that would be the Chicago Bears, uh, the Patriots, the Broncos, and the Browns are all unpaid in here. And if anybody is interested in those, uh, speak now. I'll forever hold your peace kind of deal. I would like to find homes for these. Uh, three of them all belong to one bidder. So three of them, we would have to sell all three in second chance or none, I guess. That would be the Browns, uh, the Broncos, and the Patriots all belonging to the same bidder. And it looks like the Browns went for 24 and some change. The Broncos sold for 22 and some change. The Patriots sold for 33. And again, those are kind of an, I've got to either sell all three teams or no teams. The Bears, that is a separate bidding spot. And they sold, it looks like, for 22 and some change. So $22, basically. Of course, there's no shipping involved with either one of those. And uh, we may have some unpaid teams when we get to certified as well, if payment doesn't come in before then. All right, so Mr. Wrestling, you said you might be interested. You and Dirty Dog and Joe, you guys and Jason are all kind of discussing back and forth. Uh, so Jason, you want the Bears, okay. Um, now obviously, preference would go to somebody who wanted all four. If nobody wants all four, then yeah, we'll parcel, parcel them out for sure. 
So right now, Jason has said he's interested in the Bears. Mr. Wrestling, you said you might be interested, but you didn't let me know uh, which team. So if you want to let me know what you're thinking, we can kind of figure out where we need to go from here. And right now, of course, we're, we're in a, a little bit of the holding pattern. Um, all right, so Mr. Wrestling is interested in the Browns. That would mean I would need a spot for the Broncos and the Patriots. Uh, again, those all being for one bidder. All right, so Joe, you're saying the rest, meaning the Broncos and the Patriots. I want to make sure I understand what we're talking about there. So Jason is interested in the Bears, Mr. Wrestling and the Browns. Then you're saying, Joe, for the Patriots and the Broncos, 75, or you mean 75 for the Patriots, the Broncos, and the Browns? If you can clarify that for me, I would appreciate it. And guys, of course, we'll start uh, on breaking as soon as we can get all these unpaid teams uh, sold out of here. Oh, Midway, you have the Bears. Okay, so it sounds like the Bears are out of play, that Midway is uh, is just gotten off work and is getting ready to take care of the Bears. So I think that takes the Bears out of play. So, Joe, you're talking about you want the Browns, the Broncos, and the Patriots for 75? Or you just want the Patriots in Denver for 50? It looks like I've got two two kind of different schools of thought there. So let me know where you stand on that. If you only want two, I think Mr. Wrestling would take the Browns. If you want all three, uh, obviously that's okay as well. Because as I said at the start, you know, somebody taking all three would obviously. All right, so you want the Patriots in Denver. Very good. So guys, give me a second here. I've got to clean this up on eBay and get rid of the one that is unpaid. I need to update the spreadsheet. Joe, that is going to give you the Patriots and Denver. And let me, I'm typing in here right now for you my email address that I use for PayPal. So Joe, Patriots in Denver at 50, and then Mr. Wrestling, you have got the Browns at what? I don't remember. The Browns at, I'm looking, uh, the Browns at 24 are headed your way. So Mr. Wrestling, if you and Joe can take care of sending over uh, the payment for that, I'm going to get the spreadsheet updated, and we will get ready to carry on here with this. As soon as I get a little odds and ends work done here to get it cleaned up. All right, that is. Okay, that is the Browns and the Broncos and the Patriots. Oh, Dirty Dog, I didn't see you say that you wanted the Browns, man. I'm sorry. I saw Mr. Wrestling say it. I think, was it moving too fast? Did you also say it? I'm sorry. If you did, I apologize for that. Um, let me, I've got eBay squared away now. Let me just get the spreadsheet updated to reflect the changes. And then if you all can uh, give me a heads up when the payment has gone through, I would appreciate it. Mr. Wrestling. And then Joe, you have the Patriots and the Broncos. All right, Patriots. And the Broncos. Okay, now I think I have our I think I have our spreadsheet 
hopefully is fixed uh, the way it needs to be now. And there we go. You guys are all set, you said. Um, oh, MC4317, we are breaking right now uh, a half case of mini helmets. And then behind that, we are breaking an inner case of certified football. We'll be up uh, next as soon as we get these accomplished. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, um, let me go ahead and get this spreadsheet put back up here so that we can see our changes reflected. So once again, this is a five box half case break of TriStar Autograph Mini Helmets. This is a half case break. It is break number four. It's the back half of a case we started, I don't know, a week or 10 days ago. And of course, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, uh, the 6th of August. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from on the right. Our Cleveland Browns, our Broncos, and our Patriots all picked up here by way of second chance from the unpaid team. So thank you guys for picking up those teams i appreciate you now you're going to notice that the background goes slightly out of focus here that is by design please don't let that worry you i like to look at things up really close and personal and uh, setting that manual focus allows me to do that all right so are we good to go then i know um midway you said you're good mr wrestling is good and joe you said you're good all right so let's get our five mini helmets here and see what we can see what we can find with our mini helmets here tonight. All right, hang on one hot second here. I've got to get myself back. I'm on the wrong. I've got everything all in a hot mess right now. <laughs> I know. Whenever we have the unpaid teams, it like always throws off my um, my rhythm. I guess is the word I'm looking for. Oh, that cracker you took care of. I just realized what your, <laughs> what your username said right as I read it out loud. Um, you just paid for the Jets and Dolphins for certified. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then we'll be good to go there. That's good to know. All right, so our first out here is Robert Griffin the third. You see we've got a little, this is just a generic little thing that TriStar prints, uh, like a little card that talks about it. This is a generic COA paper. It doesn't really give you much information. The important part is that part, the hologram uh, COA on the back, although that one's not really a hologram. But anyway, you know, you know what I'm saying to you. This is on a collegiate helmet. It goes to, of course, the current team, which for RG3 is the Ravens. Oh, Mr. Wrestling, your I-64 on eBay. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, sir. I just type it in always what is in chat so that that reminds me that I've got to go back and match it up uh, right after the break. You know, I go print it out of PayPal, all that second chance stuff, and write all my little notes on it and get it all matched up and everything so we can keep track of it. This is Hugh McElhaney. And um, on a throwback helmet, which I believe is 49ers, but it's a really plain little helmet, there's our hologram COA. There's our uh, autograph on the top. And it's 49ers, right? I better look that up, man, because I'm not 100% sure about that. So rather than guess, um, let me just go ahead and look it up and make sure I'm spelling his name right, too. Some of these throwback little mini helmets, uh, one might look similar to another. And I don't want to tell you the wrong team, but I do think he's Chiefs. Our 49ers, rather. <laughs> it looks also like the Chiefs. <laughs> See, this is my problem. This is why we're looking it up. Um, yeah, 49ers. That is correct. Because it's definitely not a, a Viking, a Giant, or a Lions helmet. So we were right We were right the first time. So 49ers and Hugh McElhaney on the throwback helmet is our second out. 
Um, Midway, you are asking about other breaks. I think everything else is probably going to be settled up then because we only had the two teams left for certified, and it sounds like those got picked up. So um, I think we are in pretty good shape for the next one. We'll double check it but I th right before we start, but I think so. The Giants YA Tittle comes out for the New York Giants. Once again, those are just generic, but, but they're there, so we look at them. There's our little uh, hologram seat lay on the back and your signature and a Hall of Fame inscription on the front. So right now we are Giants and Ravens and 49ers. Lambo, you need the Packers. Midway needs the Bears. And uh, Joe says, I need some tuna salad for mom. <laughs> I do, don't I? I do. I ate all that so quickly that she made the other day. And she's like, I didn't even think it was a very good batch. I figured you took it home, threw it away. I was like, uh, no. <laughs> ate it all instantly, immediately. Raiders are next out. Jim Plunkett and the Oakland Raiders signature and looks like just a, a jersey number inscription but inscription nonetheless couple of hologram uh, little certifications there on the back so we are Raiders Giants Ravens and 49ers coming into the last one David you want to see an LT helmet well, hey, maybe. You never know. You never know what's going to come out of these. They're always interesting. TriStar tends to have a lot more Hall of Fame and retired guys uh, probably than Leaf. Leaf concentrates more on current guys with some Hall of Famers. TriStar is a lot of Hall of Famers and some current guys, kind of the opposite formulation. So Earl Campbell... And Earl Campbell, of course, uh, played for the Oilers. The Oilers of yesteryear are the Titans of today. There's a little sticker for the hologram on the back. That's on a collegiate helmet, obviously. Um, cards and, and helmets and whatever else always stay with their franchise. So the former Oilers, the current Titans, get that one, Earl Campbell. And then for the Raiders, uh, we have the Jim Plunkett. The Giants, it was Y.A. Tittle. Did he die recently or am I just imagining that? Robert Griffin III for the Ravens. Tittle, I mean. And then for the 49ers on little throwback helmet is Hugh McElhaney. Now give me a hot second, kids, to get these uh, out of the line of fire here and safely tucked away. And then we are going to be ripping into a 12-box inner case of some certified football. As soon as I get these carried out of here. I'm going to get them closed up and moved out of the way. We'll be right back. It's going to be certified football time. We got more certified too, along with four thousand other football products right now <laughs> got a lot of football stuff at the moment just coming out right and left it is if you missed it earlier that right there is the information that you need to know about the break we just finished and the break that's coming up i'm not going to read it all off to you again but if you did not see it the first time now would be your opportunity to look up there and uh, take a little quick inventory of it so you know what's what. Next up, this is a 12-box inner case of certified football, and this is break number four. Of course, it also ended tonight on eBay, the 6th of August, and... Um, it is the back part of a master case. Obviously, we broke the first 12-box inner 
I don't know when, a couple days ago, I think. It just shipped out really recently, like yesterday or today. Today, I think, actually. <laughs> I think I got it sorted last night and shipped today. Sometimes I I sort it on one day and the post office is closed. I can't ship it till the next, but in my head, I'll think I've shipped it the day before when really all I did was, you know, sort it. But I'm pretty sure it, it's definitely out the door, but I think it went today, actually. Strong Crosby, you're happy you got a Raider. Well, that's good. <laughs> El Rubio is trying to sell a Chrome LT helmet. All right, well, if you like LT helmets, that might not be a bad deal then, right? Christopher, the um, Texas Longhorns player, that was Earl Campbell. That was his collegiate helmet, of course. And uh, again, the former um, Houston Oilers are the current Tennessee Titans. So that goes i find a way to make that fit. That goes to the Titans spot, the Earl Campbell. All that fun stuff about renamed and relocated franchises and all that happiness can be found, of course, in the listing description down there at the way down at the bottom in that little special circumstances area. And looks like Strong Crosby and Joe and Lambo all jumped in there and helped me out and answered that too about Earl Campbell. So thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate you, as always. Austin, you need uh, Kyler Murray in here. Okay, so you've got the Cardinals. Cardinals, Cardinals. Jonathan, I do not have a, a link specifically, but the easiest way I would tell you to find it probably is if you went to any of the eBay pages, you know, they've got that search up there at the top and there's an option for advanced search. And if you hit advanced search, then you can put in items by seller and put in the seller user ID, which in this case, mine is a uh, flea burger. I know it's weird, but Hey, that's what it is. And then you hit enter from there and it should bring up all of my current listings and let you sort them, you know, by sport or by newly listed ending soonest. I think there's probably lots of different ways to sort it once you get to that point. That's the easiest way I know to tell you how to find it. The fastest way anyway is probably that. All right, David, you need an Easton stick autograph and an LT autograph. All right, that is very specific. So the mojo is going to have to work very hard tonight, isn't it? All right, we will, we'll do our best for sure. And we're going to do our best for Austin too to get the mojo flowing for his Kyler Murray. And actually, Kyler has been coming out of certified with some regularity. He hasn't been particularly hard to pull in here. In fact, we've had pretty good luck pulling him really out of almost everything. Had pretty good run of Kyler in, as a whole, which is nice. Sometimes they're a little uh, sparse with the top top end of the draft choices, uh, having them show up in products. In other years, they make them a little more plentiful. So, sticker shock. You need some bills. All right, and Charles needs the Bengals. All right, and let's see what we can do. Now, out of this very first box here, we're going to go a little bit slower and talk about a few of the inserts as we come across them. And when we go into subsequent boxes, we won't stop on the inserts as much unless, you know, they're low numbered or whatever. Meanwhile, here is our first hit. It is Little Jordan Humphrey, numbered to 149 for the Saints. So they're first out. Now, these... Uh, raise the banners. We're going to find lots of them. For the most part, they're not numbered. If we run across one that is numbered, it will be on the front of the card, which will make it easy to spot. We'll find lots of the orange ones. The orange ones are numbered to 199. We'll find lots of diamond inserts. Those are typically not going to be numbered. There's an Immortals. We'll find many of these inserts. And uh, again, that one being orange is to 199. Gold team, loads of those as well. The vast majority not numbered. These are little advertising cards. We will find more of those than we care to see, but uh, I will every time 
probably flip them over front and back because I like to make sure there's no card stuck to the back. So we're going to find a lot of base cards that are really high numbered. You can see that is numbered to 450 on there. So we're looking at that one just because, again, we're in the first box. But going forward, all of those really high ones like that, we're not going to stop and read those off. Lower number ones, we will. This one is to 399. That It's in the upper, uh, always in the upper left on Immortals. And again, typically higher numbered ones like that, I won't always read the number off. We'll just kind of keep on trucking since this is a pretty healthy amount of cards in this break. We like to roll on down the line. We're looking for two autograph and two memorabilia cards per box. We've seen one autograph. This is our first memorabilia card. It is numbered to 99 coming out for the 49ers with Debo Samuel. So half of our hits we have found. Half of our hits are still hidden in here somewhere along the way. Lots of seal of approval inserts, uh, same as the others. If it is a low numbered insert, we'll take a look at it more closely. If it's not, we will keep on rolling down the line. Another hit for the Saints, Alvin Kamara. And it is numbered to 100, 200. Boy, I about didn't get that anyway, did I? 100? <laughs> going once, going twice, 100. This is 299 for the Saints. Yeah. Me talk pretty. Um, Jarrett Stidham comes out next. This is for the Patriots. Nice little three-color relic. You've got the autograph on there, and it is numbered... To 499. The big 499. Okay, so that's mostly what we're going to see in terms of inserts and things as we go along. So we'll find a couple of other parallels. We've only seen the orange right now. There are a couple of other lower numbered parallels that when we get to them, I'll of course tell you what they're numbered to and you'll know what to look out for. So. <laughs> Gina, I just saw your comment over there. <laughs> Looking for Pistol Pete Maravich and Reggie Lewis. <laughs> Joe says, we're doing football. She's just she's just ripping my cord. Um, Joe. <laughs> Gina, Gina is very funny and she always entertains me in these breaks. And now the first time or two that she said something about something like that. I'm with you, Joe. I thought, now, wait a minute. Like she said something once about Otani. And you know, sometimes people don't know the ins and outs of like the minor league and the major league and whatever. So I'm kind of going, well, no, he's actually, you know, he's, I think we were breaking Bowman. I'm like, yeah, he's actually already, you know, up in the majors, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, uh, I know. <laughs> Jack and you. I mean, she said it differently than that, but yeah. But I tell you what, Gina, if I find you a Pistol Pete Maravich autograph in here, I will give you uh, $5,000. How about that? If we find a Pistol Pete Maravich autograph in this break tonight. <laughs> you are looking for a Dan Marino, too. All right, Cracker, we will also try to find you a Dan Marino. I probably should just say that. I don't know which one I should say. They both, I feel like somebody's going to listen to it and think, what am I, that I'm saying something bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call you that. Can I just call you that? Aaron Jones and the Green Bay Packers. That one is number 265. Because you all know that's how it is in today's world. I mean, there is no, there are certain things you, I mean... I'd be careful with, and I can just imagine somebody would be like, what did you say on there? Number to 499, a nice looking relic and autograph for the Vikings with Irv Smith Jr. So even though I am trying to correctly read your username, I'm thinking maybe I just need to call you that. <laughs> This is the red parallel. It is Anthony Miller for the Bears, and our red parallels are numbered to 99. 
So anytime we see orange, it's to 199. When we see red, it is to 99. There's still uh, like a teal parallel in here that we'll find to 35. There are some blue ones that we'll find to 50, um, hopefully, anyway. And I want to say another one that I'm not remembering at the moment in terms of another base color parallel. New Generation Stidham. That's a nice looking relic. How about that, kids? And it is very low numbered correspondingly as uh, to 25. So very nice for the Patriots. Um, Gina, Kentucky football is supposed to be okay this year. Um, yeah, I mean, I think so. <laughs> you kind of never know with Kentucky football until we get going. But allegedly... They have met with a lot of pro uh, coaches and I guess probably trainers and position coaches, head coaches, whatever, trying to work with our quarterback to get him to be a better passer. And apparently we're going to kind of go to a, maybe I'm going to call it not a full-on air raid offense, but maybe 60% of an air raid offense. It's to 299 Royce Freeman and the Broncos. At least that's the noise that we hear coming out right now. So you never know. But one of our guys, um, Lonnie Johnson, is one of our rookies. He plays for, got drafted by the Texans. And the Texans, I guess, and the Packers have been kind of scrimmaging, supposed to be, I guess, non-contact or limited contact. And Lonnie apparently just laid out not one, but two, two different Packers. And they, like, sent him to the locker, said, your practice is over, you're being too aggressive and whatever. So, so Lonnie's making his mark on the world. I saw that yesterday. It was yesterday. Oh, Gina, you got another good thing in your consolation cards. You got um, a numbered Ronald Acuna rookie card. Very nice. You do have pretty good luck with those, I have to say. For those of you who might not know what Gina's talking about, when we do breaks like the, the mini helmets and the jerseys and things of that nature, where not every team pulls out a card, the next time you have a package shipping, I will send out consolation card or cards for those teams that didn't pull anything in a break, right? And so Gina, although she has sometimes bad, bad streaks of not pulling things in a break, has very good streaks of pulling things out of the consolation cards. So I don't know. If maybe not ideal, probably would rather hit in the break, but at least you're not, you know, ending up totally empty-handed, right? Nicole Hardman Jr. That is a really nice relic and autograph there alongside for the Kansas City Chiefs. It is numbered to 299. Um, Missouri got the quarterback from Clemson, and you think you're going to win 10 as a result? Well, all right then. I think that would be a very, I, hey, I'd love to have that kind of season for my Wildcats. That would make me happy. So here's the teal I was referencing earlier. This one is numbered to 35. It's Baker Mayfield for the Browns. Anytime we see that teal color, you know that that is uh, screaming out uh, to 35, basically. All very handily color-coded in here. Here come the Bengals. Tyler Boyd. And Tyler is numbered to 50. <laughs> Gina, you're funny. Now you get mad when you hit stuff because you do better with the consolation cards. <laughs> uh, oh, you're too much. Andy Isabella comes out for the Arizona Cardinals with a new generation jersey relic. 
And who is that? Oh, Clellan Pharrell Raiders. Just, uh, I mean, it's numbered, but another one of the high, high numbered ones. To $1.99 for the Redskins. That is Case Keenum. Why is Case Keenum in there for the Redskins? Well, look at that, kids. We've got one to five for the Buffalo Bills with Tyree Jackson. So somebody was looking for some Bills love. I'm sure you probably were hoping uh, autograph, but sticker shock. Um, Bills to five. That's not too shabby, right? Maybe that works a little bit anyway. And it looks like we're going to have another Patriot, but let's go ahead and get the last base out from under it and then see what we've got. Damian Harris, new generation unnumbered jersey relic there for the Patriots. If anybody happens to be keeping up with the score of Angels and the Reds, and you feel so inclined as to periodically let me know, I wouldn't be mad about that. I thought it was going to be another one of those games, right? I mean, top of the first inning, we get burned for three runs. I mean, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we're going to lose by like a thousand. But then somehow, the baseball gods smiled upon us, and we got three runs in the bottom of the first, and then tacked on a couple more runs in later innings, and that's the last I saw of it, so... I don't know what has happened in the ensuing innings, but at least we, you know, maybe it's not going to be one of those games where we just go to hell and hand back it. Joe says it's 7-4 to four for the Reds. All right, yay. I like that plan. Sticker, you hit a one-of-one one Chris Carson in the last break that you did a couple weeks back. Very nice, very nice. One of ones are always good. And it's the bottom of the seventh. Okay, so maybe we can hold on then and win that. I mean, honestly, last night, I think it's the first time we've beaten the Angels in, good Lord, probably 10 years. <laughs> I mean, maybe not 10 years, but like a long time. We don't play the Angels all that often to begin with. So, I mean, maybe it has been 10 years, but... Anyway, it was nice to beat them last night, but if we could beat them again tonight, hey, I'll take it. Another new generation jersey relic, Debo Samuel for the 49ers. I will definitely uh, take the win. That is to 199 Mark Ingram Ravens. I'm so used to saying Mark Ingram Saints, but that is Mark Ingram uh, Ravens, correctly reflected with the current correct team there. Cortland Sutton. Wow. This is a guy we found all over the place last year. Coming back for his uh, sophomore season. Numbered to 125 for the Broncos. It is a Cortland Sutton autograph. TJ Hawkinson. Oh, I hope this is signed for the Lions. Yay, Lions to 299. They gave you a little bit of a boring relic, but listen, TJ hasn't been coming out with a tremendous amount of regularity, so I think that's a, a nice little hit for Detroit. Number to 50. There's our blue parallel. That's Mac Wilson for the Browns. And Cooper Cup, got one behind him, for the Rams. With a jersey relic numbered to 299. Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Um, I don't think so. I don't think we've had any Raiders autographs, have we? We had a, 
a Clellan Pharrell just like numbered rookie card. I remember that because I stopped to see what it was numbered to. But I don't think that we've had Rodney any anything else yet. I don't believe. Yeah, Jason says none. Okay. You guys know my memory is not always the greatest when it comes to that because you know I'm seeing so many different things and I'm reading off stuff that's both numbered and autographed and relics and sometimes it just goes right out of my head. Well, most of the time it does. Because everything we see in the next pack just right wipes out what was in the pack before it. In my brain, I mean. My poor little, my poor little brain. Alrighty, kids. Terry McLaurin. Redskins. With a Pat Mahomes stuck to the back. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, that's a little more like it. There's your jersey relic. And then Pat Mahomes was trying to uh, hitch a ride there, but it did not work out for him in the end, did it? We caught him not paying his fare. And Immortals, uh, Peyton Manning to 299 That's the Colts. Devin White, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, Jason, you have the Raiders in here. So, well, yeah, that would make sense. You would definitely know for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Number to 10. It's a nice looking card, too. Very thick as well. Devin White and Tampa Bay. To 199 for the Colts. That's Penny Hart. And I tell you what, I'm going to create a couple of new little stacks over here because I don't like it when the stacks get terribly tall it freaks me out I'm always worried that they're gonna you know I don't know dump over or something so I just prefer to keep them smaller over there on the sorting mat when we can do so Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Jameis Winston that's number 25 for the gold parallel I think that's the first gold loose card anyway that we've seen tonight but if we see more, they will also be to 25. Gary Jennings Jr., Seattle Seahawks, to 299 relic and autograph. Joe Mixon and the Bengals. And Joe is numbered to 299. I'm sorry, 199 on the Mixon certified Gamers, I know better than that. That's orange. I know that's to 199 and still I said 299 So there you go. <laughs> it's a Monday on a Tuesday. All right, we have opened... Five. This is box number six that I am getting out of the wrappers right now. Gina, you want to come clean my garage? <laughs> I used to basically clean like my eBay room and my office and all my all my stuff. I need somebody to come clean out all my stuff. <laughs> but when you were cleaning out your garage, you found. A dual patch of Kurt Warner, Eric Dickerson card, numbered to 10. What was it doing in your garage, man? All right, well, I shouldn't say that. Like, I've got so much stuff everywhere. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I mean, you could probably, you could probably go anywhere on the property. You might even find trading cards out in my yard. Not your alls. My own. My own, to clarify. I have got them everywhere, not the ones we do in the break. I mean, the mine around here are so bad, and it's been so long since I've sorted them. 
you could almost consider it modular furniture in places. It is, <laughs> it is out of control. I have got to sort through a bunch of that. I need to get a bunch of it graded and sold or something or cataloged or something. I don't know. Too many years of stuff, I think. There is Ian Thomas has come out for the Carolina Panthers, number 275 for Mr. Ian Thomas. Dwayne Haskins. Let's hope this bad boy signed for the Redskins. Yes, it is. That is numbered to 199 for Washington. Barely eked out a third color over there on that edge on your relic. Barely got that little uh, third one peeping around the corner there. That's to 199 for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A new generation Paris Campbell. It's going to be a relic for the Colts, unnumbered. Oh, you found it in a book even. Well, that's actually maybe not a bad thing. That probably kept it from getting, you know, all beat up or whatever, I would imagine, being that it was in a book. Deontay Johnson and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh, baby. Yeah, my friend who has a cousin that plays for the Vikings, she's she's got to be uh, down in New Orleans working, actually in Baton Rouge, but working uh, for a couple days this week. And so she's hanging out down there, staying the extra night and going to go to the preseason game uh, with the Vikings and the Saints to to see her cousin. And, and I think he's getting her field passes, so that'll be kind of nice. Number to 10, Nick Foles, raise the banner insert for the Eagles. He's still an Eagle on that card, so, so yeah, that's where that'll go. All right, so we are the halfway point. Six have been opened. Six are remaining as we plow along happily through our case of certified, our inner case of certified. Yeah, if I had field passes, probably not for the Vikings game, but like if I had field passes for a Steelers game, I don't know, I'd probably get thrown out of the game because I imagine I would get like super mouthy if, <laughs> you know, if I thought the calls were bad or something, I would probably like be the, be the fan tossed out of the game by the referees. But it probably would be fun, but I don't know. I don't know how much I don't know how much they tolerate down there if you're yelling at them from the field level. You probably couldn't, I guess. Because whoever got you the passes would expect you to behave well or reflect poorly on them. See, that's why I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Oh, Red's game is delayed. What happened? Rain come through rain came through or something? Kept saying we were gonna get rain today. We never did. It's to 199 Preston Williams and the Dolphins. Dee Dee Westbrook to 299 for Jacksonville. to 99 for the 49ers with a red haven't seen a red parallel in a little while and here's a little purple one let's go ahead and get these other two things uh, out of the way so I can properly take a moment to reflect on this one I see a little imperfection down there on that bottom edge I'm not quite sure what it is it's just the way the light hits it I know it's there it's number to 10, Le'Veon Bell and the Jets. Going to be interested to see how Le'Veon does. Oh, man, did Hard Knocks start this week? 
Oh, it might have started tonight. I mean to watch it because of the Raiders. I want to see what Antonio Brown is mouthing off about. Debo Samuel, New Generations to 99. I think it might have been. I think it might have started tonight, but I can't recall 100% for sure if that's right. Deontay Thompson, numbered to 25. A little low-numbered autograph parallel for the Cardinals, who probably really wish that was Kyler instead, but better than going home empty-handed, am I right? Preston Williams, let's get that out of the way, is our autograph, and it is numbered to 149. I think his autograph is super weird. It looks like pup. With a, it actually looks like P smiley face P. So, like, I have no idea why Preston Williams signs his name like that. Maybe that I don't. I really don't know. I've never known. Every time I see his his signature, I think, what exactly is that supposed to represent? AB's feet are messed up from frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh mercy I just you know what I mean I'll just be interested to see if he can back up everything he said I mean regardless of what happened and I'm sure frankly you know there's there's lots of there's always many sides to a story at least two and sometimes more than that and who knows what really happened, because, like, I wasn't there. But at least Ben Roethlisberger had the common sense to say, look, A.B. made me a better quarterback, and, you know, I'm going to miss the guy. I wish the guy had stayed, etc." As opposed to A.B., who's out there just burning the world to ashes, you know, saying he's the greatest and everybody else blows, kind of. So, you know, if Ben does worse without A.B., well, he's already covered himself, right? Because he's like, yeah, he made me a better quarterback. I, You know, the guy was, was good, and we're going to miss him. Whereas A.B.'s like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So if he crashes and burns up there in Oakland, he's just going to look like an idiot. Probably should have thought about that before he started, you know, his scorched earth policy, but I don't know. <laughs> Yes, we did exactly finally get you a jet with the Le'Veon Bell. So, I think Le'Veon will be fine. He's probably going to have to get back in playing shape. I imagine he's a little bit out of shape. He hasn't played in a game. And, oh, you know, he sat out all last year. So, we're talking about a long time. And usually it takes several games to play back into shape. Meanwhile, Bears, how about this nice little hit for you? Kyle Long to 15 right liking that that was worth the price of admission Bryce Love with a jersey for the Redskins but yeah I do have to remember to watch Hard Knocks I watched it last year too because you know how could you not watch it with it being the Brown? She just knew part of that was going to be a train wreck. It's number to 50, Antoine Wesley for the Ravens. Although, in actuality, there really wasn't that much of a train wreck last year. Hard Knocks wasn't for the Browns. A little bit, maybe, here and there, but, but not as much as you would have thought. So, we'll see what it brings this year with Oakland in the spotlight. D.D. Westbrook, that is numbered to 199. I remember reading that there are a lot of teams that really don't want to do hard knocks, and you can understand why. But whatever the contract is that was written between HBO and the league, you can get exemptions. Alexander Madison that is out for the Vikings. It is numbered to 299. 
Like if you've been to the playoffs in the prior year, you can say, you know, no way, I'm not going to be on hard knocks. And there's a couple of other things that you can also have as exclusions. But outside of that, you really can't, like if they want you and you don't meet any of those other criteria, well, you just have to do it. So Immortals, number 235, Johnny Unitas for the Colts. So, yeah, it's, um, I'm sure probably the Raiders are, like, not happy they have hard knocks there. <laughs> that one is numbered to 99 for the Titans. Derrick Henry. So, it did start tonight. Okay, see, that's what I was thinking, Rodney, that it did, but I don't know. I've probably, I don't know what time it even comes on. I forgot to set the DVR. I don't know if I've missed it already or not, but... I guess I can catch it on demand tomorrow anyway, but, but yeah, should be interesting. Oh, the Raiders wanted to have hard knocks this year? Okay, I'm surprised. Usually teams do not want it. I mean, that's why they have all those all those little sets of uh, rules about how you can be excluded. And if you don't fall into the exclusion category, you can't really, you know, turn it down. Oh, Jason says it comes on in three minutes. Okay. Yeah, well, then I'll definitely be catching it on demand tomorrow. Find out what interesting things happen. A seal of approval, Baker Mayfield, numbered to 35. And then we have J.J. Arcega Whiteside for the Eagles. Oh, you said they're happy that they've been there because now they can't come back for a certain amount of time. <laughs> well, I guess there's that. I guess there is that part of it. I tell you what, we have pulled more Philip Lindsay in the last seven to ten days than I think I pulled all of last year. It has been a Philip Lindsay absolute run of autographs in the last week or ten days. That one is numbered to 20, Denver Broncos. So Philip must have gone on a huge signing spree after the season concluded and signed a bunch of stuff. Miko Hardman Jr., Kansas City Chiefs, nice tricolor relic, and it is numbered to 35. Oh, well, for sure. I mean, Chucky's going to for sure make it interesting. I mean, you have no idea what Gruden is going to say or do on any given day. So he alone for sure. But then you've got Antonio Brown. We all know how he is with social media. Can only imagine what he's going to be like with this. Mike Weber to 10 for the Cowboys. Nick Chubb and the Browns. Number 299. That's to 199, A.J. Green and the Bengals. And Darius Slayton. Giants to 499. I don't know why I left those two little base cards sitting over there from before, but I guess we can move them. All right, we have opened nine. This is 10 coming out of the box right now. Yeah, Joe's like, thank you for another Philip Lindsay. That's the fifth or the sixth. I'm, I, I know. See, I, mean, I was not kidding when I said we had pulled a ton of Philip Lindsay in the last seven to ten days. I, we have pulled an incredible amount. Oh, 
Jason, he says at least he gets to see some raiders on hard knocks because he's getting skunked in his break. Well, we need to find you some raiders here out of these last couple of, last three, to be exact, boxes. We'll see if we can't turn that around for you, Jason. We don't, it's never any fun to get skunked, that's for sure. We've got DeAndre Hopkins for the Texans, number to 299. Damian Williams, Kansas City Chiefs, that is numbered to 35. Oh yeah, the Elway to 5. Yeah, yeah, we've actually, we've had some nice things coming out recently. Of course, we've opened, you know, Majestic and some high-end stuff as well. Hey, hey, here comes a Raider for you. You're not going to go home completely skunked. Hunter Renfro is headed your way, numbered to 299. Tricolor Relic and Autograph. I don't know why those are to $2.99 when they're also orange and everything else orange is to $1.99. Isn't that weird? Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills have another one. Numbered to 50 with your man Josh Allen. Nice. I say another one. I think the Bills hit something else earlier. I mean, I wouldn't swear to it, but I think so. Jason Taylor, that one is Immortals. To 199. I got all excited when it was turned face down. I thought it might be signed. I had it in the sleeve and everything, and then it was just a 199. New generation Riley Ridley jersey, 299. Sony Michelle. And the Patriots, and that one is to 450. See, that one I'm putting in the sleeve too because it's facing the opposite way. And then look at that. Also not signed. I'm bummed. Alexander Madison. That is the Vikings. The new generation jersey relic. To 199 Cardinals, Deontay Thompson. Okay, kids, we have opened 10, and we have three more to go. Two more to go. Open 10 and two more to go. Yeah, we're not doing a baker's dozen. So there is more certified, um, not a tremendous amount more. I think one master case left, and I'll try to get that handled sometime in the next week to 10 days, maybe. Um, just trying to think of what else. That Donruss football, of course, those breaks take forever because they're 18 box cases and there's 4 million cards in every box. So we have to break at least, you know, case of that. We'll do half Wednesday and half Saturday. So maybe the first, I don't know, first to middle part of next week, we'll probably do certified again. And then we'll switch back and forth between that and Don Russ football until I manage to get all of it broken on both counts. Drew Brees and the Saints. Numbered to 299. Ooh, a redemption. The plot thickens. 
Dan Marino Immortals. That is the two ninety nine. I know you just typed in there a Dan Marino autograph. That would have been something if that had come out that way. When I saw that Marino face down, I was thinking, oh, did he call it? Is it out exactly? Calvin Ridley to one ninety nine for the Falcons. James Connor and the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is numbered to 450. So, yeah, kind of high numbered. But anyway, new generation Devin Singletary. <clears throat> Devin Singletary, Jersey Relic, unnumbered Buffalo Bills. I know it was. It was so close, wasn't it? <laughs> I know, when you saw that Marino face down, you thought the same thing I did, for sure. I they were just teasing us, weren't they? Miles Boykin and the Baltimore Ravens. That's number 50. I think that's the lowest number we've seen tonight for autograph and jersey combo. So, the Ravens with a, a good little hit there to 50. Gary Jennings Junior to two hundred and ninety nine relic Seahawks. Did I say Seahawks? If I didn't, it is number to fifty for the Eagles. That's Clayton Thorson. So I wonder who our redemption is going to be. At least it came out late in the break, so you don't have to wait too long. I always uh, set them up there in that little housekeeping area. I don't flip them over until the very end of the break. Whether we find one or whether we find a hundred, they always sit right there and wait until the end. Speaking of the end, we are currently in the midst of last box mojo time. Yes, indeed. So we have to collectively focus our mojo energy here and see if we can't come up with some smoking hot hits. I hope that we can. We need to we need to find some five alarm fire stuff, don't you think? Dirty dog! You need Paris Campbell for the Colts. All right, my friend, let's try and do that, too. Try and conjure that up as well. Good old Paris. Uh, didn't, we see, didn't we have Paris Campbell something earlier? I think we did, but it maybe not was maybe not an autograph. That's got a wonky uh, corner upper left. Again, some of these you can see just as the light reflects off of them that they're not quite straight on um, some of these edges and corners. I had a bunch of that in the other half of this case. In fact, I'd say two-thirds of the cards out of the other half had the top two or three cards out of every pack had bad upper lefts out of probably two-thirds of the packs in the case. It was odd, really. A.J. Brown and the Titans. If we can have somebody not stuck to the front. And A.J. is numbered to 399. Oh, your guess is, I got you. Your guess is that Paris Campbell is the redemption. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right. Now I'm on the page. I'm a little slow on the uptake sometimes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Lambo Leaper, you are looking for an autograph too? All right. We'll work on yours as well. There is Daniel Jones to 299 for the Giants. A little love for New York to 199. That is Julian Love for the Giants. Darius Geis and the Redskins. And that is numbered to 50. Darius Geis will be kind of like a rookie this year. I mean, he's technically not, but obviously he didn't play last year for his ACL in the preseason, so he's kind of going to be like a rookie. If you stashed all your Darius Geis cards from last year to wait and see how he plays this year, maybe it'll pay off. It's to 35 Jalen Ramsey. 
Oh, gosh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hit the camera, obviously. <laughs> that was not a little, that was not a little earthquake. That was a little stupid me um, being clumsy and hitting the camera, hitting the tripod more specifically. Sorry, Charlie. Sent you on Mr. Toad's wild ride there for a second. That is numbered to 99. We've got some kind of lower left uh, or lower right corner problem. You can see it there. Uh, that is the Raiders and Derek Carr. It's probably fairly minor, but again, if I notice it, I'm going to call it Jarrett Stidham. We've already seen Mr. Stidham once or twice. We're about to see him again for the Patriots. And Jarrett is numbered to 299. And all right, so we're going to flip this redemption. Then we're going to go to the Panini website and verify it. By that, I mean we will find out what team is, is associated with the player on the other side. We're probably going to know the answer to that, but we're still going to let the Panini website show it to us all up close and personal and it will also tell us what if anything it is numbered to after we accomplish that we will recap all of our hits which is what i'm in the process of moving over here now we will not recap all of the numbered cards because there are a lot of numbered cards but what i did do is try to set aside those that were numbered to 50 or less for the most part I may have missed one or two of them, but I think I, I got most of them stacked aside. All right, and that you are so dead on it, Dirty Dog. It is Paris Campbell for the Colts on the other side of our redemption. You are psychic, man. And uh, this card set is Freshman Fabric Mirror Signatures Purple. So what we will do is head over to the Panini website and get a little more info on our Paris Campbell redemption. So let me get myself over to the right spot and then right behind it I'm going to bring you right along with me and let's see what we can find out. Good old Panini. Gives us lots of information on their website which I personally like. Checklists go all the way back to like 2009 or something, I think. They go ways back. All right, what did I say this was? Freshman Fabric Mirror Signatures Purple. Purple, purple. Should be pretty low. Um, card number 221. Paris Campbell Colts to 10. Woohoo! Colts, you like that, right? Had to sweat it out a little bit, but all worked out for you in the end with one number to ten. We got that all happily labeled, and now we are ready to do a little bit of recapping. <laughs> oh, you guys were talking about... <laughs> He's like, what earthquake? Where? Where? No, I meant I did that when I hit the uh, tripod. I kind of sent you shaking there for a minute. I call it Mr. Toad's Wild Ride when I do that because it does inevitably happen here and there because it's just in an awkward place, honestly. But it's where it needs to be to see the cards properly, but it's kind of awkward to, you know, work around it, so... All right, so number to 35, it's Jalen Ramsey and the Jags. Number to 50, that is the Colts. This is number to 35 for the Kansas City Chiefs. We've got number to 10, a purple one for the Cowboys. To 35 for the Browns. To 35 for the Colts. The Browns to 50. The Ravens to 50. The Jets to 10. The Eagles to 10, to 25, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bills numbered to 5, and to 35, another one for the Browns. So the Browns actually ended up with two Baker Mayfields numbered to 35 out of there, which is not too shabby as far as those sorts of things go. 
All right, onward and upward we go. That is uh, for the Patriots. Next up, the Titans. Here we have the Seahawks, the Ravens, the Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Bills again, and the Giants, the Broncos, and the Eagles. the Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Redskins, Rams, 49ers, Patriots, Cardinals, Broncos, and Saints again. Out of this group, the 49ers, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Patriots, the Vikings, the Packers, and the Patriots. Here we have uh, a little love for the Raiders with Hunter Renfro. The Texans, the Browns, Chiefs, Vikings, Jags, Redskins, who is that? Oh, Paris Campbell, Colts, Bengals. The redemption for Paris Campbell and Colts, numbered to 10 it will be when you get it. There we have Redskins, Panthers, Seahawks, the Lions, Broncos, Bengals, Redskins, Giants, Saints, Vikings, and Bears. One more little group to go here. There's another Bears. I think that one's pretty cool, actually. Kyle Long. I like that one. Well, I like several of them in here, but I don't know that one in particular. The Dolphins with Preston Williams. And then we have another one for the Cardinals. There's the 49ers, the Jags, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. My Steelers didn't pull much tonight, did they? I just noticed that. My Steelers did not uh, pull very much at all tonight. All right, so there's the break. There's the recap. We are going to take one more pass through the spreadsheet info for anybody who might have missed it earlier. Here is the 411. The mini helmets, of course, a free shipping break scheduled to go out no later than a week from today. We'll probably go sooner than that, but that just simply means it will go no later than that. And if you got skunked in the mini helmet break... Typically, I would hang on to your consolation cards until your next package ships just because it is a free shipping break. However, if you don't want to wait and you would like it sent right away and you didn't hit in that mini helmet break, you just drop me a line on eBay and let me know. I will handle it for you with pleasure. Otherwise, certified football should be on the way to you uh, Saturday, probably, hopefully, maybe before that. I uh, don't think it would be any later than that, barring any unforeseen circumstances. And, of course, we pulled a lot of cards tonight, all the card ships. So every team definitely pulled cards, and every team will definitely be getting a little package of cards in the mail headed your way approximately Saturday. Now, tomorrow night is a new release night, uh, as Wednesdays usually are, and we're going to start at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. We'll open uh, both of our new releases, a full case of Tribute Baseball, and then we'll open a half case of Donruss Football, which is uh, a nine-box break, is half a case, and base cards do not ship to the teams in that break, okay? They have their own bidding spot, FYI. Full details about that you can find in the listing description. Thursday night, a half case of gold standard football loose boxes. It is break number five of that. Then we're going to open contenders optic basketball by the inner case and a full case of immaculate collegiate football. On Friday night, a half case of leaf rookie retro. That is a multi-sport break. It is loose boxes from a shared case. And spots are sold by the first letter of the last name, and you can find them listed in the football category if you're interested in Leaf Rookie Retro. Then Topps Tribute, we'll break another case of it, and we'll break another case of encased basketball all on Friday night. 
on Saturday, we'll finish up that uh, Donruss football that we start on Wednesday. We'll wrap up the rest of that case on Saturday night. And then Sunday is an off night. And that's how we look in the days ahead. So that is it for me tonight, kids. I thank you very much for being here. As always, I appreciate you. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. If I do not see you again tomorrow night, I hope I will see you again sometime soon. And until then, I guess I'm out of here. We'll see you the next time. Bye now.